based on the liquid viscosity, impellers can be classified as turbines for low viscosity fluids and close clearance impellers for high viscosity fluids. What do we mean by closed clearance impellers? Closed clearance impellers are impellers in which the diameter of the mixing impeller is almost 90 to 95 percent. In certain cases, it could be 99 percent of the vessel diameter. So the clearance between the vessel wall and the mixing element is extremely, extremely close. And such mixing elements are required for high viscosity fluids. Depending on the flow patterns, we have already seen we could have axial flow mixers or we could have radial flow mixers. Impeller designs may also be classified based on the amount of shear that they produce. Some applications such as emulsions, dispersions require shear. So we have some mixing impellers which, which produce high shear at high speeds. So we have axial flow impellers, radial flow impellers, low clearance impellers and high shear impellers. So the typical axial flow impellers are marine propellers, pitch blade turbines, hydrofoil impellers, they are also termed as high efficiency impellers. Then we have the radial flow impellers, this include the Rushton turbine, the Smith impeller, the open blade turbine, coil or spring impellers. The anchor impeller, the anchor agitator and the helical agitator, these are categorized as low clearance impellers and what is called as a sawtooth impeller uh, classifies as a high shear impellers. How do we actually select an impeller? Well, depending on the application, process function, material properties, viscosities, and the equipment size. We see a video here of the different kind of liquid mixing agitators. The vessel volume and viscosity are critical. So we have the pitch blade turbine, the very commonly used axial flow impeller, the high efficiency or hydrofoil impeller, the Rushton turbine, the anchor agitator, which is actually a close clearance impeller. You can see how close the, the impeller is to the vessel wall. This kind of impeller is used where you require heat transfer or low shear. And we have the contra rotating paddle and ankle impellers. So here we have on a single shaft, you have two impellers. One is a close clearance impeller and another is a turbine, both rotating in opposite directions and at differential speeds. We have the high speed dispersion here, the ankle impeller and the sawtooth impeller. 